Hi and welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to continue my series on photo editing and I'm going to talk about plugins. Plugins are a tool that you can use that apply certain changes to your pictures. A perfect example would be lens correction. Lens correction is something that most photographers or any kind of equipment that you have, you should do this. It corrects for known problems with your lens. Lens corrections are very common, very easy to apply. It fixes a lot of simple problems. And the great thing about Lightroom is you can apply that plugin to your photos as you're importing them. So today I'm gonna to show you how to make a plugin for lens correction. I'm gonna show you how to, what other plugins come in as default with Lightroom. And I'm gonna show you how to apply a plugin to your photos when you import them into Lightroom. So come along and enjoy this event. Okay, as you can see, I am set up here in Adobe Lightroom, and I have a, this is a California Gull, and I want to apply some presets to this Gull. So what I want to do is go to the Develop module, and over here on the left-hand side, I have quite a few options here. Go to Presets, and the default presets, or the presets that come with um, Adobe, are right here, and if you just hover over them, it will show you what that image will look like with those presets. Now, you can download presets from the internet or plugins. So uh, Adobe has this webpage that you can download um, free Adobe Lightroom presets and tips from nature photography. Now, um, it's pretty straightforward. If you have an Adobe account, you can just download them and um, they're pretty straightforward. I mean, it's really easy. Just click download, unzip uh, them, and put them in a file. Now, to add them to Lightroom, you would click the plus sign, import presets. Now, this is the file that those presets are in there. I select them, hit import, and they simply import into Lightroom. And as with all other presets, if you hover over it, it will show you what that preset will look like. Now, to be 100% fair, these are landscape presets that I'm putting on birds, and they're not very applicable. But this is how you would apply any preset that you want. Now, the great thing about presets is you want to see what this effect looks like and how it's done. You would select the preset, and you would simply go up here and see what it did, or see what this one did. And you can see the changes that were made in the preset. So you could actually go back and do this, adjust those presets, so something that you can have is a preset as a starting off point and then go in and edit it more. Um, the, this is really a useful thing. and um, You can really learn a lot by using presets. If you download presets to learn how to edit, it's a really good tool. Um, again, you should not be dependent on one preset to do everything for you. With that said, there is one exception, and that's lens correction. So we go down here to lens correction here. And we select um, both things here, and it's the Sigma 150 to 600 millimeter lens. Now, I want to make a preset for this so that I can apply this to multiple images. And that's the whole idea of presets, is something that you can apply to multiple images. If you had a spot on your lens and you want to apply it to 300 pictures, this is a great way to do it. So we're going to get create preset. And if you notice here, the only thing I have selected here is lens correction. Now, one thing I need to do is give it a name. So I'm going to give it to Sigma uh, 150 to 600 millimeter of lens. You should give it a good name so that you know what it is. Um, click Create. And if you look over here on the left-hand side, there's the uh, plugin. So if I go to a, another picture that doesn't have the plugin applied, I click on it and it applies that plugin. You can see how useful that can be. Now I can apply this at import. If I select import and import photos into Lightroom, this will you can apply this to all the images that you apply to images in Lightroom. So these images here, if I go down here to apply during import, I can select my preset, but I can also select other presets. So these are the ones I imported just now. I could select one of those. 
I could select one of the default ones at any time. So you could do this. But the great thing about this is, let's say you import images, you apply the preset, and you didn't like it. You can just simply undo it. These are not permanent edits that you can make. So this is a great way to apply during um, uh, your importing into your images. So, I'm hoping this helped you a little bit. If you got anything out of it, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to this channel because that really helps us in the YouTube world. Become a Patreon supporter. Your support allows us to keep doing this. My name is Sean Leahy. I want to thank you for watching.